Thank you very much. And our next speaker is Mi Michele Campagna, who's from the University of Cagliari in Sardinia, Italy. And he will be talking about sustainable tourism development in the Gulf of Oristano. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, the project that uh, we are presenting uh, this year, uh, the AGC project, uh, fall within a broader project that we started um, unexpectedly last summer. And um, when we have the chance to present our previous work, the design work studies uh, to the municipality of Oristano, and uh, at that time they have the urgent uh, need uh, to understand how to spend a little money they got from the regional government. And uh, they had to invest this money in uh, sustainable tourism. So basically we start working together, together with a very short time. In, uh, we have basically four months to run the study. Uh, and understand uh, how to spend this money. This was the, the main um, need for them, but at the same time they understood the potential uh, of um, working a little bit also more, a little bit more strategically and prospectively in, in, for the long term. Um, so basically they want to understand how to spend the money now, and, but also how to in, develop sustainable tourism in the future. So basically uh, we run uh, um, three workshop, one long with the municipality, with the real stakeholders, and then, and, uh, and this was addre to address their uh, urgent need, and then after that we ran two workshops with uh, my students, st uh, students in civil engineering and uh, one class, and in architecture. So basically, uh, the design we developed for the non-adopters scenario is grounded on the current need of the municipalities, five municipalities. Um, Oristano in the center is the province capital. The, the, the five municipalities are around uh, a gulf. And then there is uh, uh, Arborea. This, this, uh, all this area here uh, used to be a wetland and was requalified at the beginning of last century and become a very uh, productive agricultural area. Nowadays is uh, the, the economic engine of all the, uh, this, this province. Then we have Cabras in the north. Cabras is very rich in, uh, they have wonderful beaches that attract most of the tourists. That is the main factor. But they have a lot of uh, archaeology. There is a Roman, Phoenician and Roman town here. There are several archaeological sites from Bronze Age here. Just 20 years ago, they found a giant stone statue uh, in this area here. And they still have no idea about the civilization that produced this statue. The archaeologists cannot figure it out. They are just studying. So it's, it's very rich in um, nature. It's very rich in uh, cultural heritage. Currently, they have a very intense peak of tourism in uh, summer, in August. And uh, basically, the amount of, uh, of the, the accommodation available in all the area is just enough to cover this peak in August. But they want, of course, to extend the season. Uh, Sardinia is Mediterranean weather probably can attract tourists also in the spring and fall and maybe also in winter when they run some uh, traditional uh, parade for carnival, the Sartiglia, uh, ri uh, horse riding, uh, etc. Um, I mentioned agriculture and uh, also I should men mention fishery. We have some images here. In all this uh, lagoon and pond, they, f they used to fish a lot since a uh, long time. And uh, the, the product they still produce are, are quite an attraction also for tourism. They, the, the, the most peculiar is the mullet fish roe dried that is uh, very well known in, uh, nationwide and, and abroad. And it's come from, from this area here. So basically, we develop with the municipality and with the, also with some uh, um, stakeholders from the private sector uh, in, in the first workshop, organizing three sessions, a first plan. And this plan was basically oriented to understand, uh, not to have a plan, but basically to understand how to spend the money first, the little money, uh, so which, which action should be taken first, but also to understand the strategies. And the good thing is that um, using Geodesign Hub in the workshop, eventually the municipality could agree, and the municipality, maybe most importantly, could agree with the private sector. And uh, the people from the private sector, when, when they approached the workshop, were very skeptical. But after working, uh, they, they appreciate a lot the fact that they could talk on the same level 
uh, with the people from the municipality, probably for the first time. So it was very successful. And uh, after this, this workshop, basically, they all agreed that uh, there were main, four main strategies. Uh, improving the quality of the management of uh, archaeological sites, that are one of the main factors of tourism attraction. Uh, connect, the archaeological sites of course are pole in, at this scale, and they want to use the, uh, to build a green infrastructure to connect them, to have something around. In order, because the area is not very well connected. It's not a big area, it's 40 by 40, but uh, to go from the north to the southern edge, it took more than one hour by car. So it's quite disconnected. And, and then, of course, they, um, they agreed to work on mobility, not only uh, on mobility, but a lot on active traveling and soft mobility, because this also can be a, a, a factor for tourism attraction, especially for uh, uh, hiking and cycling. On the base of these strategies, we work with the students on the uh, early adopted and late adopted scenario, and this time, the, the main uh, uh, insight we got were on how to use technology. That actually, this was a very interesting part we got also uh, from last year experience. And in fact, uh, the students work more creatively than the local people that are very grounded in the, in the present. And, and they basically propose more innovative idea uh, to exploit the uh, cultural heritage and um, also to to develop action in mobility, uh, in blue infrastructure, to, let's say, to uh, earn a wiser management of, of resources. Uh, in terms of impacts, um, the, prospective, the prospective studies, uh, you can see the matrix, they have not, not big difference. Basically, when you see differences, they are influenced from the amount uh, of, uh, um, of project in, in the system. And uh, they perform well, better, actually, than the, the late uh, adopters. Uh, just a little bit, uh, I don't know if I have more time, one, one minute, about the workshop. We developed in two intense months the assessment phase, so we produced this, um, the evaluation maps to input in Geodesign Hub. Then we have a first meeting with the stakeholders and we use a, um, a very lightweight app, web app to collect the first design, design idea. Then, then we inputted in Geodesign Hub. So the input from the external stakeholder was already available for the municipality to work on. And eventually, uh, many of those ideas were taken on board. And uh, this was a, a way to give a, a good feedback to the, to, the, to the stakeholders. Then we ran the first one, day, uh, one and a half day workshop with, with the municipality. And uh, one more day also involving the stakeholders. So, so they, they could also develop their, their own synthesis. And we did, didn't arrive to a real negotiation, but uh, uh, the four teams presented the municipality as a whole, and, uh, and the three type of stakeholders, green, cultural heritage, and uh, private entrepreneurs, presented the uh, synthesis, and basically they agree. They realized that they agree, just from the presentation of the synthesis, on the main, uh, on the main priorities. And then we ran the two workshops with the students, 70 students in one case, 60 students in the other case, and then with the coordination team, me, Chiara Coco, and Elisabetta Di Cesare basically rearrange all the materials to, to fit within uh, the IGC framework. Uh, one last concluding note I would like to mention. Um, since this was a, uh, is based in a, a real-world case study, uh, uh, data availability was an issue. When we work with students or even for research, we can um, accept a lot of assumptions and simplify sometimes. But working with real stakeholders, of course, they know the, the territory very well from their perspective. We want them to uh, uh, maybe to understand in a more holistic, comprehensive way. Uh, so the, we have a lot of data from the regional government, uh, special data infrastructure, but they were not enough. So we uh, heavily relied on uh, volunteer geographic information, OpenStreetMap, we, we, several important layers come from there, and also on social media geographic information. And we use uh, booking data. Uh, in, bo in booking, we found one, one, 170 uh, uh, accumulation infrastructure, while in the official data set there were only 40. So these data were uh, turn, out, turn out to be very important. We use Flickr data to understand where tourists go and a lot of analysis uh, of this kind. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Michele. Thank you.
Okay, thank you, Michele.